<laughs> there's even this. There's even like the, the body language. Can you motion? Can yeah. you do this motion without even saying it? Yeah, yeah. Γεια σας φίλοι και φίλες του Easy Greek. Βρισκόμαστε στη Βαρκελόνη για τη διεθνή συνάντηση του Easy Languages και σήμερα θα ρωτήσουμε τους φίλους μας από τα άλλα κανάλια του Easy Languages να μαντέψουν τι σημαίνουν διάφορες περίεργες φράσεις και εκφράσεις στα ελληνικά, ιδιωματισμοί στα ελληνικά. Δεν είναι και οι πιο εύκολες εκφράσεις, για να δούμε πώς θα τα πάνε. Ciao, bambini. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Easy Italian and you are? Katie. Matteo. Raffaele. Kalispera. I am Justina from Easy Polish. Kalispera. I'm Johnny from Easy Taiwanese Mandarin. My name is Silvia from Easy Catalan team. My name is Jose and I am part of the Easy Spanish team. And I'm Harry and I'm also in Easy Spanish. Hello, I am Judith from the Easy French team. And I am Chris from the Easy German team and I'm from America. Hello, this is Emin from Easy Turkish. Uh, this is Barkin, represents Easy Turkish. When the Greeks say you will live for a thousand years, what does it, what has just happened and when do you say that? Ah, maybe you fall uh, on the street and nothing is happening and then you say, ah, you will live a uh, hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Good guess. Yes? No. Oh. <laughs> maybe, uh, when it's someone's birthday. Like if someone tells you like, hey, you have an eyelash on your cheek and then you take it away from the right one without knowing which one it is. That's super specific, I love it. When you sneeze, because we say live long when someone sneezes. If someone sneezes? <laughs> really? <laughs> Just guessing. I think you've shown that you're really wise, that you know a lot of things. It's uh, when uh, someone talks about you when you're not there. See what I mean? She's good. What? What does that have to do with a thousand years? <laughs> Where did this come from? Χίλια χρόνια θα ζήσεις. Το λέμε όταν μιλάγαμε σχετικά με κάποιον και ξαφνικά εμφανίζεται από το πουθενά. Είναι λίγο σαν το καταφωνεί και ο γάιδαρος. Ίσως λίγο πιο ευγενικό και καλό. It probably means that, oh, you're not dead. <laughs> you're still living. In, in French, it's like you're going to have a long life. When do we say you will eat wood? You will eat good? Wood, wood. Ah, wood. You will eat wood. Yeah. <laughs> when you say a bad word? Because there is nothing else to eat. Maybe if someone says they're going to go out for a heavy night of drinking and it's a euphemism for a hangover. Could it be to accept the consequences of your own decisions? Like to, in English, we've got, you, you've made your bed and now you have to lie in it. Something like that. A kid does uh, something naughty and uh, her mother, his mother says, you will eat wood. Mm. You will get punished? Yeah. Yes, but yeah. what kind of punishment? From God, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get it right, so can yeah. I guess my stupid guess? <laughs> Before you win. <laughs> You will eat wood. I, this sounds like something you say to your enemies. Like they do something to you and you're like, you will eat wood. <laughs> you wait and see. <laughs> Am I on the right track? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. I think it might mean like you're in a competition and I'm much better than you. And I'll, I, I tell you, you'll eat wood. <laughs> you mean we because have, it's we like have something similar, similar yeah, yeah. you lit dust, we say in Italian, <laughs> in a situation like this, maybe in Greek it would. It's like you would do anything to get something, even if it's not a good thing to do. Mm. You would eat wood to uh, have... Mm. Maybe you said me something very bad and I say, you will eat wood. Mm, yes. Yes? Kind of, yes. So I will... Yes. Wow! Okay. <laughs> Θα φας ξύλο. Το τρώω ξύλο σημαίνει είμαι δέρνουνε, τρώω κάποιο χαστούκι, δέχομαι φυσική βία τέλο πάντων, με κάποιον τρόπο. Συνήθω το χρησιμοποιούμε ή με παιδιά όταν έχουν κάνει κάτι άσχημο ή για παράδειγμα λέμε μη μπα εκεί, μπορεί να φας ξύλο. Π.χ. στο γήπεδο όταν έχει hooligans. We have it in Turkish. Yeah. So yes, and you will eat the stick. Yeah, we so. try to be original, but. Yeah. <laughs> and look oh, who is you here. You know Greek already. <laughs> no. I'm Paulina from Easy Spanish. How about I made um, rusk out of my shit? What? A uh, crisp bread, like crispy dry bread. <laughs> Does it mean like you've turned something hopeless into something wonderful? I've made a rusk out of my shit. 
of that you make the best out of it. I feel like it could either be to do a really bad job out of something or to take something really terrible and, and make it nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, achieving the impossible maybe? To make something really precious out of a really hard situation. Please. That's the most common answer. Yeah. That's the most, most common answer, then it's wrong. Or maybe the opposite, that you've made your <laughs> bad situation even worse. Because you ate it? Because it, you know, no one wants the dried bread. Yeah. It sounds like, like student life, like you can't afford food, so you're like, <laughs> like eating really crappy food. Crappy food. <laughs> like bootstrapping, like you don't have the budget for something, you just pull together like yeah, anything to, to try to make it happen. Mm, yeah. Yes, that's okay. basically it. Έχω κάνει το σκατό μου παξιμάδι. Άντε τον εξηγήστε το παξιμάδι. Τέλος πάντων, αυτό σημαίνει ότι δεν τα βγάζω πέρα, δεν βγάζω και τα χρήματα. Δυσκολεύομαι πάρα πολύ να επιβιώσω. Άρα για να φάω, πρέπει να βαφτίσω το σκατό μου παξιμάδι και να το φάω. Αλλιώς πεινάω. You convince yourself it's a rask and you eat it. We do have actually in Chinese, it means like, oh, at the end of the month, I'm eating my shit. It's literally translated like this. It means that I have no more money yeah. in the oh, end of the it's, month. It's that, that's it. I think it's Neapolitan. I'm not sure this is suitable. Yeah. <laughs> non mangiare per non cacare. <laughs> <laughs> All right? You don't eat, so you don't shit. <laughs> cacare. <laughs> that's nice. I've taken them on the skull. Like skull, like the bone in your head? Yeah. Grab the bull by the horns? No. Uh, I really hit them where it hurts the most. Like you take it very serious? Yes. Oh, really? Kinda. You do this when you have a strong emotion. What kind of emotion is that? Like when you are frightened a lot? Τα έχω πάρει στο κρανίο. Ή αλλιώς τα έχω πάρει στην κράνα. Και έτσι μπορείτε να τα ακούσετε. Σημαίνει πολύ απλά ότι κάτι με έχει εξοργήσει. Ότι είμαι πάρα πάρα πολύ νευριασμένος. It's when you're very angry. Ah, uh, I think it kind of makes sense. Yeah. When you say it kind of makes sense, but, but yeah, it's hard to. Okay, it's hard to guess, but when you say, ah, okay, it makes sense. Yeah. Ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ και τους μεγάλους μας χορηγούς, οι οποίοι είναι εδώ. Αμα θέλετε κι εσείς να δείτε τι μπορείτε να κερδίσετε, τι άλλο μπορείτε να αποκτήσετε από την εμπειρία, τη φλήρη εμπειρία του Easy Greek, γίνετε μέλη μας και θα τα ανακαλύψετε όλα. I saw the Christ soldier. Ah, uh, maybe you don't know something and then you ah okay i know this one and you see the you saw the christ so yeah okay. oh. Oh. Enlightenment. Oh. yeah <laughs> war is coming eight coming from god <laughs> i've seen that with my eyes mm. believe me you saw someone getting angry for the first time you've never seen mm. him getting angry and uh, like oh I, i saw the christ soldier yeah good guess but, but no, no. <laughs> I'd say that is when you see someone you barely see, like you see them every now and then, and they finally appear and be like, oh, there's Jesus Soldier! <laughs> Does this have to do with like uh, near death experiences? <laughs> You're on the right track. Okay. You, you said new death experience? Near, near death, not nudist, ah, not like, nudist experience. <laughs> <laughs> nudist experience. <laughs> <laughs> I think like maybe that you have like such a big scare, I, but I don't know about the soldier, but I, I, I have this feeling, no? Like, ah, oh, Jesus, no? <laughs> <laughs> Paulina, you nailed it. Yes? Yes. Oh, wow. I suck at this. Ida ton Christo Fadaro. Afto simeni oti kati snevi ke fovithka para poli. Ya paradigma, ena atichima sto dromo που απέφυγα παρατρίχα, θα μπορούσα να έχω σκοτωθεί. Ε, είδα τον Χριστό Φαντάρο. Really? So... <gasps> yeah, we say that we saw the death angel. Grab the egg and give it a haircut. <laughs> But eggs don't have hair. Mm? Tricky one. Why? Why the egg needs You're a... You're bold and you go to the barber, yeah. it's useless. So, yeah, do something <laughs> so that... You, you're doing necessary. something that doesn't... You're like... <laughs> yeah. Try to move in the ocean with a... Bucket. That's another idiom. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Attempt the impossible 
or attempt something very difficult. So like to do something completely pointless? Uh, we have sayings in Spanish that tells you like uh, that when you just want someone to go and look for something to do, like ve a ver si puso la gallina, like go and see if the chicken put some eggs, like just like <laughs> go in and entertain yourself with something. <laughs> Like, just try something out. I don't just, know what, but just try something out. Yeah, just go for it. That is something you would tell someone if, it, if they're trying to mess with you. Πιάσω το αυγό και κούρευτο. Άρα, μια κατάσταση είναι απελπιστική. Δεν υπάρχει λύση για αυτό που έχουμε μπροστά μα. Είναι, οχ, πιάσω το αυγό και κούρευτο. Από πού να ξεκινήσω και πού να τελειώσω. Είναι ένα κουβάρι το οποίο δύσκολα θα λυθεί. What do you want me to do? Smell my fingernails? What does this mean? <laughs> Is smelling fingernails a bad thing? Yeah, of course I think. I think it's a, it has a negative meaning, I think. It can't be a good thing, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to smell anyone's uh, fingernails, actually. What would you want me to do? Like, everyone's... Uh has something to do and it's like, and what should I do? Like, should I just like stay here and just scratch my uh, okay, yeah. belly? Oh. Like, to just do nothing? It's like if uh, you are asking some help to someone and the person has absolutely no way to help you. Mm -hmm. And so she say, would it help you if I, if I did that? But you know, it's uh, like a rhetorical no, question. No, 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 no. But you could say that to us. You could say that to us. Oh, okay, I, I think I got it. Really? Yeah, but Tell me. because of the sand, how am I supposed to know this? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do, Dimitris? Do you want me to smell my What do you want me to do? To raise my hands? This means that we don't have any idea what we are asking and we express our anxiety for how the other person wants to know what we are asking. There's even this. There's even like... The, the body language. Can you motion? Can yeah. you do this motion without even saying it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like very appropriate in this situation. Know. We could have said that to all of your questions. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Burn. <laughs> like, do you have, I have some kind of telepathy that I can read your mind in some yeah. way? Yeah, 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 exactly. Σας ευχαριστούμε πάρα πάρα πολύ. Ήσασταν όλοι καταπληκτικοί. Ήταν και δύσκολα, ε, να τα λέμε και αυτά. Το παραδέχομαι. Λοιπόν, άμα σας άρεσε αυτό το επεισόδιο που γυρίσαμε εδώ στη Βαρκελόνη, στην ε, συνάντηση του Easy Languages, γραφτείτε στο κανάλι μας, δείτε και τα υπόλοιπα κανάλια που συμμετείχαν στο βίντεο σήμερα. Άμα σας άρεσαν οι απαντήσεις τους, άμα σας άρεσαν οι φάτσες τους, ε, δείτε τους στα δικά τους κανάλια, κάνουν υπέροχη δουλειά, τσεκάρετε τους. Ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ που ήσασταν και σήμερα κοντά μας. Θα το βούμε στο επόμενο επεισόδιο του Easy Greek. Μέχρι τότε, να είστε όλοι και όλες καλά. Γεια χαρά. Um, Being in this end of camera really sucks. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Πρέγω, μόλι το πρέγω. But it's a nice one. Πρέγω, μόλι το πρέγω. Μόλι το πρέγω.